I'm here today to do a little haul video for you. It's kind of a catch-up haul, sort of, because some of these books I bought while I was on my long, long hiatus, and some I bought recently from the book outlet, which I learned about through Katie Tastic's video, which part of me is grateful because I found all these books for really cheap, but part of me is like, well, I wouldn't have bought them if I didn't find them for cheap. So spending $40 on books is still spending $40 on books, even if you get, like, 20 books, it's still, yeah, it still hurts my bank account. Okay, anyway, let's get started. I've got Graffiti Moon by Cass Crawley. I've been wanting to read this one since before it came out, and then I kind of forgot, and I never got to it, and I'm not going to talk about what all these books are about. You can look them up, just whatever. You Look Different in Real Life by Jennifer Castle. This is her second novel. Her first was The Beginning of After, which I've talked about in videos before, and it was incredible. So... This one is about a girl who was on a reality show as a kid, and I think she is again, which is actually similar to the premise of Something Real by Heather Demetrios, who I know through my school, and it just came out, and she's awesome, and you should check that out. But also, I want to read this one, too. Where You Are by J.H. Trumbull. Um, I don't know if this is her second book. She's got a few, but this is the second one I'm going to read. The first was called Don't Let Me Go, and her books are gay romance, and they just get to me. I'm saying they. I've only read Don't Let Me Go, but Don't Let Me Go just really got to me, and this one I really, really want to read too, and it's a boy who starts a relationship with his teacher. But, you know, that's all. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything else. The Average American Marriage by Chad Culkin. I don't know if I did haul this before or not. I got it quite a while ago, but I love him. He is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite adult authors, and I did actually start to read this, and I was really into it, and then I got distracted, and I put it down, but I'm gonna read it eventually. First Kiss, Then Tell. This is a collection of short stories. Um, Deb Coletti's name was, I think, the first one on there. I think she collected them. No, but her name is the first one on there. Whatever. Okay, so it's a bunch of young adult authors stories about first kisses, fictional stories about first kisses, and this is one of the ones I got on Book Outlet for like a dollar, and I just thought, yeah. After by Francine Prose. This seems really dark and interesting. It's about, there's a school shooting, I believe. I don't know. I actually don't remember. A school shooting, or there was some big bullying incident. I don't remember, but then basically the adults kind of trap the kids in the school and make them like live there. I don't know. It just sounds really, really interesting. Please Ignore Vera Dietz by A.S. King. I have talked about A.S. King's Ask the Passengers, and I got to be in a workshop with her at my school because she teaches there, and that book was incredible, so I have to read this too. The Distance Between Us by Casey West. Romance. Cover. Cute. Gonna read. The Summer I Learned to Fly by Dana Reinhart. This is the second book I have by this author, even though I never read the first one, but it sounds good. Seth Bumgarner's Love Manifesto by Eric Looper. I don't know too much about this book. This is one of the ones I found on Book Outlet just randomly, but it's about a boy. I am a sucker for YA boys, so yeah. Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. I buy all of Jennifer Eccles' books, even though I'm actually a few behind, so I haven't, I need to catch up and read them all, but I read her first three-ish, I don't know, maybe more, I don't know. But I'm going to read this eventually. Never Have I Ever by Katie Heaney. It's actually called Never Have I Ever, My Life So Far Without a Date. And this is a collection of personal essays, so it's nonfiction, memoir-ish, and I don't remember where I saw this. I actually think I saw it on NetGalley, and I applied to get it and didn't get it. So I had to buy it, but I'm going to read it because it just sounds, I mean, I don't know. I really, really like when I read adult fiction, I tend to read more of the nonfiction, memoir-y, personal essay-y, funny-y stuff. Yep. Words. The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I hear a lot of people talking about this book, especially on BookTube. I think Jesse the Reader mentions it all the time. But I'm not a huge fan of droopy books. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of non-contemporary YA, and I wasn't, like, super, super into the idea. But then I heard it was being made into a movie. Again, I still wasn't super into it, but then... I heard that Dylan O'Brien was going to star in it, and he plays Style Stalinsky on Teen Wolf, and I'm in love with him, like super, super, super in inappropriately in love with him, and uh, so I'm going to read it, obviously. 
I'm going to read it before I see the movie. Wild Cards by Simone Elkalez. This is a new trilogy, I'm guessing. She usually writes trilogies, little romantic trilogies. I didn't mean to say little, like it's belittling. Anyway, um, it's about a girl who plays football, and that's not like super interesting to me, but I'll probably read every romance that this woman writes until forever. Yep. The Paradox of Vertical Flight by Emil Ostrowski. I don't know if I pronounced that name right. This is about a boy who's girlfriend-ish. I don't know if she's actually his girlfriend, but he gets a girl pregnant, and I think she's going to give the baby up for adoption. So he basically steals the baby from the hospital and goes on a road trip and names the baby Socrates, and <laughs> come on, like, I have to read this book. Who would not want to read that? Winter's Kiss. This is a bind-up, so um, they just called it Winter's Kiss. It's two novels in one. It's The X Games by Jennifer Eccles and The Twelve Dates of Christmas by Katherine Hepka. Um, I bought it because Jennifer Eccles. I love Jennifer Eccles, but this is one of her like romantic comedies they're considered. They're usually like little thin paperbacks. I've never read any of those. I read her more, I mean, all, everything she writes is romance, but for some reason those are like categorized differently. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, it was $3. It was a bargain, so I got it for her, and I don't know. I don't know when I'll ever get around to it, but whatever. And finally... Forgive Me Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick. This is the man who wrote Silver Linings Playbook, which I have not read and I have not seen the movie, but the movie for sure is on my list because Jennifer Lawrence. Um, but this is about a guy who is going to shoot up his school. I believe, I believe it's about a boy who's bringing a gun to school, but it's told like with him leaving notes for a bunch of different people that brought him here. I don't know. It's kind of... Um, People compare it to 13 Reasons Why in that sense, so I'm fascinated with topics like this. I have to read this book. So that's all for my haul. That's lots of books, and I've been reading a lot of books lately, but the thing is, I've been reading a lot of books um, that I get through NetGalley so that I can review them, and so they keep sending me more free books because I like free books, especially when I get to read them early. Uh, so that takes away from my reading time of these real books. The others are real books too, but these actual books that are on my shelves that need to be read... <sighs> Words, things, coffee. Coffee! Anyway, um, anyway, what am I saying? I don't know, that's all. Okay, well, one more thing though. I just want to share what I'm currently reading because it's fantastic. Boy Toy by Barry Liga. Good, so good. It is about a boy who is seduced by his teacher when he's 12 and they have this whole sexual relationship that goes on for a while until it's found out and she goes to jail and then the book starts with her returning from jail returning from jail getting out of jail it starts with her getting out of jail five years later um and the book is told in like these different sections and some are flashbacks and some are the present and it's freaking so good like it is so good every day i pick it up to read before bed and i end up reading like 150 pages it's a pretty thick book um but i'm almost done it is so good guys that's all One more thing, one more thing. This is just a little piece of news update about me and my novel writing. I think I have said that I am sending my book out to agents right now, so... So two agents right now, this looks like four, but it's two. Two agents right now are reading my novel. They're reading my novel, guys. This is a big step. It doesn't mean that they're going to choose to represent me. They could still read it and turn me down, but this is like... It's big to even get this far, so I'm keeping all of my extremities crossed. <laughs> we'll see. I'm just, like, I'm really just proud to get this far. Like, I really, genuinely, this is, this is amazing. And if it doesn't work out with these two agents, I'm just going to keep sending letters. But this is, like, this is a big step, guys. So, yay! Excited, weird hands. I'm going to go. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye! Now go read. I don't know why you're going over there to read. Maybe your bookshelves are over there. My bookshelves aren't even over there. That's a wall. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go now. All right, see ya.